Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is my what I watch. This is what I watch from Monday to Friday. I watch 14 things. So starting with on Monday on the 8th, I watched three movies. The first one I watched was a movie called Summerland. This was really good. I really enjoyed this one. This takes place in the 70s. And it's pretty much about this woman. She's pretty much like a writer and stuff. And she pretty much gets this boy to stay with her. And she doesn't really want him to stay there. She's like, you can only stay here a week and then you're gone. And it's pretty much just them two adapting to each other and stuff. And it's such a good movie. I really enjoyed it. I got that from the library. This next one is called Dude, Where's My Dog? This actually has uh, Chris Farley's brother into it, uh, Kevin. So, it's pretty much about this dog that pretty much um, goes invisible. So it's pretty much the kids and some other people trying to look for him. So, it's a really, really funny movie. I really enjoyed it. It's a good um, kid movie if you guys have kids. And the last, the last one I watched for that day was The Last Exorcism. This was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. If you guys are not into these types of movies, I don't recommend you guys watching this. But it's pretty much shot like a, a documentary. So. And then on the 9th, I watched, I watched four movies that day. I watched this one called Unsane, Insane. It's pretty much about this girl. She pretty much goes to this place to go get help. And they think that she's like suicidal. So they kind of put her into a psych ward. So it's pretty much her trying to get out and stuff. And she's not, she's not supposed to be there and stuff. And there's all kinds of stuff that happens. Because back when she lived like in, I think it was in Boston. She had like a stalker. So when she gets to this place, the stalker's there. He's working there, but he's under another name and stuff. And she's trying to tell the staff that that's the stalker and they're not believing her. And all kinds of stuff that happens in this movie. I really enjoyed this movie. And then I watched this movie called The Hunter Prey. This had a lot of action into it. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like John Wick a little bit, but with like the action wise, but I really enjoyed this one. You guys should check this one out. I really like that one. And then I watched this one called Look At or Lockout. <clears throat> it's pretty much about like this guy right here. He pretty much has to go in space because he has to go save the president's daughter. <coughs> Sorry about that. And it's such a good movie. This guy right here, this guy is like really crazy in this movie. But yeah, I'm I remember seeing this before, but like the cover and stuff, but I never actually watched it and I decided to check it out. I really liked it. Like I said, it's a really crazy movie. What else we got here? Then we got Wrong Turn. I watched Wrong Turn 2. That was a really good one. These movies, it's like the more you watch them, the more gory, more insane they get. So I pretty much watched uh, number two. And then on the 10th, I actually watched, I watched the other three uh, wrong turn movies on here. I pretty much had a wrong turn day. So yeah, I, I watched all those. Those were good movies. I need to get... Uh, Wrong turn six at some point. Too bad it wasn't in the set. But. And on the 11th, I only watched one movie that day. And this was called Ace the Chase, the Manhattan Mystery. It's pretty much about this little girl. She's pretty much watch, um, walking her dog. And these, these guys pretty much... Uh, they pretty much grab this girl and like throw her to her van and she sees it but she tries to tell her brother and her brother doesn't believe believe her believe her at all and her mother's gone on like a vacation for like two days so she's not there and the beginning of the movie um 
their father actually dies in, um, dies in this movie. It's pretty sad, but uh, so then she she's walking and she sees an, an FBI agent. So she starts talking to her. That's played by Suzanne Sarandon, and she's like, at first they don't really believe her at all, and then then she starts believing her, and then it's such a good movie. Uh, like it's a, a, a another kids movie if you guys have kids, but yeah. I really enjoyed that one. That was a good one. And then yesterday, I actually watched three movies yesterday. This is called The Cold Light of Day. Pretty much this movie, um, Bruce Wilson's family, they pretty much go on vacation. And um, something happens on the boat that they need, they need medical stuff, so... He pretty much goes off, like jumps off the boat and goes swims on shore and grabs some stuff. When he gets back, his family's gone, so he's trying to search for his family in this movie. And then it's a really good, a, a really good action movie too. I really like it. But yeah. And then you find out that Bruce Willis was married to another girl, and then he had another another kid. So. He ends up meeting his, his sister in this movie, so. But it was a good movie. And the next one I watched, this is called Black Butterfly. It's pretty much about uh, Antonio Banderas, who's pretty, he's pretty much a, a writer. And he he's going to sell his house, but there's one day he's going to the coffee shop to meet somebody. And this, uh, this, this truck driver was like, he, he's trying to pass him, he's trying to pass him, he'd go on the other way and, and stuff, and he he pretty much wouldn't let him pass. So when he gets to the the restaurant, that guy shows up and goes, oh, that was you back there. And then he pretty much starts a fight with him and stuff, and this other guy comes out here and pretty much grabs him, brings him outside. And then when Antonio Banderas is driving home, he picks him up. And pretty much all kinds of stuff happens in this movie. I really like it. If I ever see it, so I'm going to have to pick this up. And the last one I've watched, this is called Bodyguard. This stars Tony Jaw. This is just like a, like one of those kung fu movies, man. Like when you watch like the dub version, it's so funny. Some of the stuff that they come up with on here, I, I was laughing pretty much the whole way through the movie. But yeah, I actually have the second one, so I'm probably going to watch the second one probably Probably on Monday so I can talk to you guys on Friday let you know that I watched it on Friday. But this is the this is from the creators of Old Buck and uh, The Protector that I've seen both of them. So, and it only runs 95 minutes, so. But that's everything I've been showing this video. If you guys like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join the fan nation. And I'll check you in the next one and peace.